All right, mate, how you doing? No, I'm not doing that. Welcome back to another hashtag United vlog. It's the big one of the year. The one all this year, all the HQs, all the vlogs you've seen has been building up towards. It's the FIFA World Cup final that I unfortunately didn't qualify for. But we've got Dreamer, Aga and Ivan all competing. And if they win it, it'd probably be me around three trips to Ibiza. 250 thousand dollars if they win it incredible what would you spend that money on Wes? uh yeah just a quiet vacation i reckon guys eight million people tried to qualify for this and 32 are left but it's a very very small chance of qualifying at this stage so aga ivan and dreamer they've done so well so far and there's just that one extra step to maybe make history in the fifa world make yourself two hundred and fifty thousand dollars richer it's incredible so the format's like this we've got five games on the first day i think that's right in it that's... we've got two games on the second day so that will be the group stage done then after that we've got i think the last 16 and the quarter final on the second day and then hopefully if we make it through to the final we've got ivan aga and dream who will all make it there have got the i think is it console final and proper final yeah it's the console final on the saturday same day as the first hashtag united match uh, wow. So yeah, massive wow. week Fate. in the club's history. Fate. I mean, that, than wait, this. that surely means we're going to win it, doesn't it? If it's a real thing, you'd think so. So this is where it all goes down tomorrow. We're at the the O2. Absolutely incredible setup here. Uh, what a venue for the the finale of the FIFA season. And we've got the game stations behind me. The boys are just setting up the teams, playing a few practice matches. We'll have a catch up, see how they're feeling. And then we've got a fancy dinner tonight. That's why we're all suited and booted. You're picking your manager? Yes. Is, is Jay Devereaux on there? I can't find him. Devs? He's oh, not on there? Devs. No, he's not there, unfortunately. Right, Ivan, the final is here. How are you feeling? Feeling good. It's been a long summer and I'm trying to, I try to, to work on my flaws, especially the, the attack, scoring more goals. So I think I'm coming here to London with a more attacking mindset. Because I think in order to win this, this title, of course, you need an amazing defense, but especially you need to score a lot of goals. So guys, we're here at day one of FEWC, the biggest tournament of the year. Dream is just practicing behind me, so we don't want to distract him too much, getting some practice in. Him and Ivan are actually playing first. Uh, I think it's groups A and C who are on first. Dream is A, Ivan C. Agas D, so he's playing all, um, a bit later in the afternoon. The arena's looking absolutely amazing. Look at this. This is eSports people, it's going places. And by the way, it's about 10 a.m. at the minute. I'm not used to these early mornings this summer, I'll tell you that for nothing. Right, Ryan, we're three games in. Yep. Not looking great. Not great at all. Boris has one point out of three, and Dreamer's got zero points, unfortunately. Should have won his last game, was a bit unfortunate. Things didn't go his way, but there's still time. Four games, 12 points, so that was seven. Dream's still alive, so uh, you're going to go up and coach Boras now. Yep. A bit of in game advice. So, yeah, let's see if we can turn it around. Let's go. Okay, so we just finished the fifth round of the first lot of group fixtures, which finished for today. Now the new groups come in, which basically means that Dreamer and Boras have done their games. They've still got two more games tomorrow, but unfortunately, the way things have gone, they're not going to be going through. It's now mathematically impossible for either of them to, even if they win the next two games tomorrow, get out of the group. So we're going to be losing them, which is a shame, from the tournament. Um, it was a bit of a tough day for them to be honest. They had so many games which were going their way and then just flipped right at the end. Like countless games where they were 2-1 up and suddenly lost 3-2, that sort of thing. So I think it was a very small small margins that's cost them today. But yeah, just not quite got over the line. Um, they've still got two more games tomorrow, as I said. But now it goes to the other two groups and it's Aga up next. And so he's the only hashtag player that can get through into the knockout round. So it's all about Aga right now. He's got five games to play until the end of the day. And hopefully... He can do it, or at least give himself a chance to finish the job tomorrow. Right, Dreamer, great season. Not the finish you were hoping for. 
Uh, what's your thoughts on the five matches you played? Yeah, I just didn't get the margins today. Um, I don't think I played too badly. Obviously, it doesn't show that, but yeah, I'm just happy to have been here. Uh, hopefully, get some wins tomorrow. But no. And how was Harry's coaches? Yeah, oh. he's, uh, he's been Harry. So, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, he's been a great help. Um, and realistically, if I had hit the post many times, maybe be looking at a different different table. But no, I've enjoyed it. And see, see how tomorrow goes. Aga, looking unstoppable at the moment. Well, everything can happen, so I won't say unstoppable. Feeling good, not letting many goals in, scoring plenty? Yeah, I think I play good. I mean, uh, my expectation was to just play so I could look myself in the mirror. I definitely can so far, so let's keep that up. And um, yeah, one more win, and it, I'm satisfied with today. Uh, coming up against Marcuso now, which is also in great form, so it's going to be a very interesting match. Boras, yes. great season overall. Wasn't the finish you were looking for? Definitely not. I mean, I'm uh, at this moment I'm still very disappointed and uh, sad because I played terrible. I know I can play so much better. I, I'm not, not really sure what went wrong. I have to go back home and uh, check out my gameplay and see because this was not uh, acceptable for my level. Uh, and I'm so yes, I'm very, very sad at uh, this moment. But uh, overall, I mean, it's been a pretty decent season. And there are many more to come, and I'm just gonna keep uh, playing and just uh, keep getting better, and hopefully one day I can lift this uh, trophy here. Okay, so unfortunately, as you would have seen, we did lose Dreamer and Yvonne in the group stage. We've got a bit of a mixed emotions as a whole, and also mixed emotions for you personally, Aga. So obviously it's great, on paper you're top of the group, which is absolutely amazing. You are our only hope, hashtags only hope left in the whole tournament. No pressure. Yes, it's as you say, Hassa, it's frustrating to end it like that because I felt like that I should have got the three points in the last match. Um, but overall, I think like when I came into to London, I said to myself, I just want to be able to look myself in the mirror after when I played these matches. And I think I played very good today. I mean, like if I can keep up with that, I should go into tomorrow with no fear, actually, because I'm very, very close now. And very close. Maybe I didn't get it today, but then I will get it tomorrow if I can keep it up. So we'll just have to see. And hopefully for me you will, because then I can go, Oh, Aga, 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 Rosa, Maya. Come on, you all know it. No? Okay. Yes, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to day two of the grand final here in London. O2 Arena, FEWC. And I'm here with Wes, who's been doing a lot of the vlogging, been taking over my job. But yeah, I'm here, unfortunately I wasn't here yesterday, but I'm here today. And then also, off topic, tomorrow we have a Hashtag United first non-league game. And it's a, probably, I don't know if you referenced this, but it's probably the biggest weekend in Hashtag United history. Right, so we're having a quick update with the results. Where do we stand now? Uh, group game's over for Dreamer and Boras. Boras finished on a good one, uh, keeping Dita from going through. Ex-finalist, uh, Dreamer, not fantastic results, but they've, they've handled the, the losses like champions. A bit of a crossover from football to esports. Ellis is here and Devs is here as well. How are we? We're good. Yeah. You both haven't been to one of these events before, have you? So it's new. Yeah. What do you reckon about the setup, Ellis? It's good in it. Compared to what you see on Instagram and everything, it's outstanding. Hello. Oh, first time meeting. Special occasion for most people. <laughs> <laughs> then after you meet him once, you never want to meet him again. That's usually how it goes, isn't it? But Jay, yeah, so <laughs> you've um. I don't know if you're aware, Ag is quite a good player. You need to yeah. persuade him to come over and actually play for us. I've seen him play. Listen, I've if seen him play. He played the same game as you. He did? If, well, if I had fitness, well, he played 90, you played about five. I played about five minutes. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if I had fitness, I'd be on free kicks throw-ins, goal who, kicks. Who for? I'm sorry. No, he wouldn't. You wouldn't even make the Sunday League team, H. 
I mean, <laughs> I, we'll, I mean, we'll see on the videos next year, won't we? Very, very tense right now. We, uh, we got. I mean, we're trying to figure out what's going on. There's a lot happening, a lot of games going on. We think we're okay, but it's not just about getting through. It's about who you're playing in that first knockout round. There's a long way to go, round 16. You want to make sure you've got an opponent that's, you know, as favourable as you can. So, tense few moments coming up here. We'll find out, hopefully, that Agus through and that he's got, you know, an opponent that we, we confidently can beat. Yes, guys, LP checking in here with another update. And Agar, I can now confirm, drew his game and he's going to be playing in the round of 16 versus Stefano Pinna. So, it's all happening. But we have a bit of a break now and we'll be back for that game. I'm buzzing for it. I can't wait. Take up. Because FA, they can be in the FA box. <laughs> Capture me whilst I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, 5-1, second leg just kicked off. It's not looking good, I believe Aga could turn it around. I think he's got the ability, but the final team is decent. I've been watching him from the first, from the group stage, and he's looked solid in the tournament, so Aga needs a game of his life. This is quite a decent setup, to be fair, isn't it? You've had more screens at other events, but... We get everything we need here, so we've got what's going out on the... Telly, there pretty much on Sky, and then on that side, like when it's breaking down into like group stages, that's split into four, so you get all four matches there because it's semi final now. I imagine that all that screen's gonna be Gorilla, that screen on the Kurt, and we just uh, go for it, really. So, unfortunately, that's it for hashtag this weekend at the FEWC. I've got the three competitors behind me who all did better than me this year, to be fair. So, Ivan. What do you have to say about the tournament? Unfortunately, I had a very poor start, but I mean, these days always comes, and this was only my own fault. And I'm unfortunately, played a bad wrong day. Mm. Still, nice a win in the last game, which is. I mean, let's not be too down. You three are part of the top 32 players out of an apparent 20 million who technically tried to qualify. So that's. That's a small percentage, it's a very small percentage. I mean, it's definitely, when you look at it that way, it's good that you always want to win titles, you know. And hopefully... That's the mentality we need, that's the mentality we have at Hashtag as well. Hopefully next year, guys. Anything to say? Yeah, it's just a learning curve, um, didn't go the way I wanted it to, but yeah, it was good to be here and mm. win an extra in that. And Aga, coming back as a former world champion, I know your standards, everyone knows your standards. You came to win it, everyone came to win it. You got out the groups one step further, but again, probably disappointed on your behalf. Yes, of course. I mean, uh, I think I played very good yesterday and today was not good at all. And then you can't win because you're playing very good players. Um, but overall, I mean, I had a good year. Should have been more here, I think. Or I should have performed better when it really matters. But uh, we'll take all the positive with us and uh, then I'm just going to win next year. <laughs> that's true. So that's it from us at Hashtag for... FIFA 18, hopefully FIFA 19 can go better, which will be very hard because we have the most representatives two in the final, if we've not mentioned it before. So, two words and lads, what do we not forget to do? Hashtag it. Goodbye. It is the last day of the FIFA E World Cup. Uh, four players left. You've got Kat and Dossery on Xbox, Stefano Pina and Marcuse on the PlayStation. 250 grand to play for. We'll get a couple of picks from the players that have been eliminated already. Should be a good one. Brandon, give us your picks with the remaining four. It's a tough one. I just fancy Stefano Pinna from PlayStation against MS Tesoro. I don't know, Kurt played really well yesterday. We've had to carry on today, I'm not too sure. And then I think it'll be MS Tesoro that will take the win. So, MS Tesoro, Pinna final. I might be wrong, I might be right. We shall see. MS Tesoro. Tesoro, yeah. And who do you think is going to be in the final with him on the PlayStation side? I think Stefano Pina will beat Marcuso. I think Marcuso. Yeah. yeah, I think Marcuso. It's one of us is wrong, but we'll I have to wait and see. I think I've got Dossery for the winner. Got to go with Rolo, and uh, he's been, he's already won one tournament, so hopefully he can go on and win another one. Unfortunately, Kurt won out. I wanted Kurt to go for it on the Xbox, although I'm good friends with, with Kurt and Dossery, so. Had a bit of Aga, your fellow Dane, your good mate, sparring partner, how do you think he's going to get on? I think he's going to win this match and then it's going to be very, very tight against Dosari in the console final. In the full final? Yeah, cross console <laughs> final. Ok, 
Okay, so the final is set. It's going to be Dossery versus Stefano Pina. Who you got, Ryan? Well, they're both good players, of course. But just because Dossery's played both on Xbox and PlayStation, I would say Dossery. I would think he should win. Stefano Pina, though, has a chance probably to win on PlayStation. But overall, I think Dossery will. I really don't know. I'm going to say Dossery anyway. All right, but those, those were two close semi-finals. I feel so bad for Marcuso. You look like he had it. Right, we're just about to kick off. Let's get some opinions on who's going to win. Shells? Um, Support my PlayStation, man. It's the final pen. Benny? I'm going to have to go Dossari. Dossari, 100. You know what I mean? Stop hating on it. Oh, Fully, who you got? Dossari. Sorry, you got any tips for Harry next year? Uh, no, I don't want any tips from Harry. <laughs> okay guys, the FIFA E World Cup Grand Final is finished. I'm taking my earpiece out. I've had so much fun working on the events this year. Being part of the presenting team has been an absolute privilege. Obviously watching the hashtag boys do what they do has been great as well. I think we had a great season. Three lads in the final. One of them through to the quarter final of the Grand Final. Aga obviously just falling short there. Losing to a guy who won the PlayStation side in Stefano Pina. So he should be very proud as should all of our team. I love our team. Next year, it's going to be coming around pretty quickly. FIFA 19 is not long away. So I'm buzzing for next season to see what happens with us and hashtag and how we get on. Well done to MS Dasari, a worthy world champion. $250,000 is taken back to Saudi Arabia. That's big money. As for us, we're going to be going to the after party now, letting our hair down and just enjoying ourselves. The FIFA 18 competitive season is finished. But ironically, and the same day the FIFA 18 competitive season is finished, our football season has begun. The boys have played the first game of our new non-league chapter today and if that video is not already on the channel I'm sure it'll be up soon. It's a real sign of how far we've come as a club that on the same day we had the world final of a FIFA competition where our team are operating at a world class level and the start of a football journey in non-league, the 10th level of English football where we're not quite at the world class level but we're trying to get up there slowly but surely. So we've come a long way since we started two and a half years ago and you know what the fun has only just begun. Make sure you subscribe to the hashtag channel to keep watching our journeys both on the real life football pitch and the virtual pitch. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Leave us a comment below with which hashtag esports player you thought had the best year and you know what I'll see you when you're older. Until next time don't go changing and don't forget to hashtag it.